the depravity, depravity, lack of, lack of, in, like, sociopathy. Hey guys, I finally finished the end of Eyeless, and I have lots of thoughts and would like to go over that with you right now. So buckle up, it's gonna be a wild ride. Okay, so a lot of trigger warnings ever trigger warning you can possibly think of abuse sexual child abuse rape pedophilia um yeah that's just the tip of the iceberg one quote on this book that i think wraps up this whole entire short novel was alice said once the and I paraphrase it's probably not exactly what's the point of owning something if you can't break it and that one sentence basically wraps up this whole entire book it I appreciate that there's three main points there's a young woman in her late teens about to go to college her story the main male character that's in jail for the end of Alice, kind of his perspective, and then we hear the voice of Alice. But the only person that we know the name of is the victim, which is different because, you know, in the news, we're always hearing the murder, the person that did wrong's name, and the victim is lost in the sauce. And Alice, she has this power, this otherworldly knowledge and power in her part of the book that for me superseded his and the other young lady's journey story for me. Uh, it's disturbing. I don't recommend it. Uh, because of all those warnings, but the wording, it's written really, really well. It makes you think about humanity because this man, he goes through all these situations and he, you see his, he doesn't, his perception of the world is so fucked up the way he processes events from how it actually happened is so fucked up and at the end after we understand the end of Alice how that came to be his perception of what happened and then when the jailers explained to him showing him actual photos no this is what you did and him still not oh in the female the male perpetrator, he's in jail. He's a, a lot older. The female perpetrator who writes him about, you know, experiences and things like that, she's a perpetrator too. Um, and then of course, the, the victims to their assault. Um, but the female perpetrator storyline is gruesome but uh, again i appreciate that the author not only showed in both of their stories as a male being a pedophile but the same fucking thing with a female she she is also a pedophile and her victims were male while well, his was female just showing it doesn't matter age nothing so much stuff is packed into this book and it's so short and she uses this length succinctly bluntly extremely bluntly and directly there is no flattery language because you can't nothing nothing so i yeah so that was my thoughts it took me a while to read it there's some parts I had to skip. It really was. This 
horror is what humans do. The depravity, depravity, lack of, lack of, in, like sociopathy. Like to be in their mind and experience what a sociopath thinks. Oh, I wanted to, it was like being trapped in a nightmare. It was like being trapped in a nightmare because I wanted to get, because I'm such an empathetic person. I was disgusted. I wanted to get out of their brain. But the way she wrote, huh. Okay. Sorry for the cussing, guys, but that's it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that book review. Um, my results are, at first, I didn't want to put it in a donate pile because I just, it's a disturbing read. But it's something that I will not read again, and I'm not about keeping books just to keep books. So I'm going to put it in the donate pile. So this month, when I drop off clothes or other items, she'll be among them as um, for someone else to read. So she's going to be donated. Um, I did finally um, start a Goodreads um, thing. So I am going to rate her. And the writing is impeccable. It's th the rating I'm giving it is because of this disturbing. I love scary, horror, and disturbing books. So I expected what I read. So this is not about the subject matter. It's just the way that it was written from the author. Um, she did a very, very good job. So I'm going to give it a four star on both reads. But I'm going to give it away because as a disturbing read, I don't think I can sit through it again. I know I can't sit through it again. But my next video, guys, I kind of want to help me with ideas. And in the video about my next idea, I'm going to be talking about book aesthetic like all the pretty colors and everything um how people buy books and i want to discuss how to enjoy books uh with your other senses other than just your eyes you know and this is how i experience reading and i want to share about the touch the smell the texture other things that draw me to books other than a cover because a cover never does for me so guys i hope you enjoyed this video sorry about the background noise we'll see you next time